In this video, I'll be going through an example of computing a triple integral using spherical coordinates. So here is the example. Say we want to compute the triple integral over a region Q of x squared plus y squared plus z squared all raised to the 3 halves power and q is the region below the surface described by z equals negative square root x squared plus y squared and and inside the surface described by z equals negative square root 4 minus x squared minus y squared. So the first step is to figure out what this region actually looks like. Um, it's good to first think about then what these equations actually represent. So z equals negative x square, square root of x squared plus y squared. If you square both sides of this, you get, you get this equation, which you should recognize as uh, the equation of a cone. Um, and since, they've, since the square root and the negative are taken, it's sort of the cone below the xy plane. So we have this cone that points down. And now this other equation, this will be, well, if you square this and rearrange things, you get, you get that, which is the equation of a sphere of radius two centered at the origin and Solving for z and taking a negative square root means you're taking the, the bottom half of this sphere. So this was a cone, and this was a sphere. Let me draw that sphere in here. And I'm only taking the bottom part. And the problem says you're taking the part that is inside this sphere and below this cone. So it's the part kind of inside the cone and inside the sphere at the same time. And we're going to use spherical coordinates to evaluate this triple integral. So it's good to figure out how we actually represent this in, in spherical coordinates. The first thing to notice is that um, the value of phi, so the angle from the positive z-axis, it goes from all the way from pi to 3 pi over 4, because we have this entire angle here, which is 135 degrees or 3 pi over 4. So phi goes from from 3 pi over 4 all the way to pi in this picture and the the radius no matter where we are and once we've chosen an angle of phi always goes from 0 to 2, because we have a sphere of radius 2. So that says, here let me write this separately. So I already said phi goes from 3 pi over 4 to pi. And what I just said was that rho goes from 0 to 2. Again, let me draw the picture. You have this downward facing cone and the bottom half 
of a sphere of radius 2 and theta goes all the way around So this is quite easy to describe in, in these spherical coordinates. And now, if you recall, the triple integral was this. And now we can write this in spherical coordinates. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared and then we take that to the three halves so we get rho cubed so this whole thing is rho cubed and when we change the spherical coordinates dv becomes rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta so this becomes the following triple integral, I have a rho cubed times a rho squared gives you rho to the fifth times the sine of phi d rho d phi d theta. Rho goes from 0 to 2. Phi goes from 3 pi over 4 to pi. And theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. And this integral is pretty straightforward. Uh, you're just integrating rho to the fifth first, and then you integrate sine. Uh, you should try it for yourself and see if you get it's 32 over 3 times 2 minus root 2 all times pi, which is about 19.63. And I'll stop there.